Hello, my name is Enyunam. If this is your first time, please subscribe, share the link, and invite a friend to subscribe to this channel. On this channel, we bring you a 360 of everything agriculture in Ghana and in Africa. And so when you go on our channel, you see interviews on aquaculture, on livestock, on crops, and every other thing that there is to know, even value addition, even the researchers and every other person in this value chain. You get to see something to watch on the channel. This week, we bring you an insightful tip on cow pea farming. We normally or usually call it beans farming. So let's enlighten you in case you are a lover of beans and you are thinking or aspiring to become a beans farmer. What do you have to know? Thanks for joining me, Dr. Felix Kamasa the CEO of Marvelous Trust, Ghana Limited. So we are seated in nine acres of cow pea farming. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, what family does cow pea belong to? Yeah, cereal crop. Cereal crop. Yeah. Okay. So when someone is planning to go into cow pea farming, first of all, what kind of land do you advise I get to cultivate that? Uh, if you are made uh, cow pea grow in um, mostly every land, okay. where the land have a nutrient to support the crop, Right. Um, it can be a mixture of uh, loamy sandy soil, but you can still grow it. But you have a particular time you have to plant. Um, this is like one and a half month old. Okay. Uh, if the rainy season starts, um, those February, March, you have to hold on. Mm. And you'll be looking around uh, by June. Then you start basically Ghana, that's why we normally because the, we assume that the volume of rain mm. um, is not so much because if the crop is ready, you, you want to hash it or mm. harvest, mm. you have to dry. Mm. If the rain is so much, mm. you have a lot of maggots and all those things. Okay. Because you will give an ample time for it to, uh, to dry, especially the fruit, mm. before you harvest. Okay. Because it's not one time harvest. Mm. You can harvest every week. Okay. People choose to harvest maybe four days in a week. Okay. So basically, mm. that's the reason why you have to look at the climate, climate very well before mm. you plant. So that you shouldn't have excess water mm. so that it should disturb you not to dry. Mm. Uh, people even, if you don't have, people even harvest it and dry it. Uh, but we prefer it dries on the field food. and then uh, you harvest exactly. it exactly okay when it's like that it mm. even look very nicer because if you harvest it in a broken stage before you went and dry mm -hmm. it and shell it mm -hmm. you will see the quality is not it's that's not reduced yeah. you okay see the quality will be bad okay because especially this one is the white eye mm. we call it black eye okay that brings me to do we have varieties of cow peas we do, we do. how many do we have you have couple if okay. you want you are looking depend the type you want to go i know the people, red one the red, and then the white, the white. one okay uh, there's one with a color okay uh, people call it uh miss miss okay and uh, you have a different color something like white mm -hmm. and small red tanning mm. you will get it in a uniform mm. uh, and then they have another one to that one that is tall okay it's, uh, it's a different we have it we have it in a different form right and uh, it depends the one you want but mostly the white mm. and the red also do very well okay in our area okay yeah. do you nest healthy before planting no, it's a direct plant it's a direct planting mm. okay it's so just what like how you plant maize mm. but the space out have to be wider than the maize because it's a scripted plant okay yeah okay so what should be the preferred space in between uh, people do 40 40 centimeters across. Okay. And the, the hole that you dig, how deep should I dig oh, before? Oh, not uh, so deep. Like how we plant maize, but you have okay. to plant it at least two, two. Okay. People, if the seed. It's hybrid, yeah, if it's hybrid, mm. I prefer one, one. Mm. Yeah, because we have to be sure that the germination will be good. Okay. So that you shouldn't lose some of the seed. Right. Okay, so how long are we expected to start seeing it? Fruiting. Oh, by one and a half month to two months, you'll be seeing the fruit. This one, mm. you will see that how it starts stripping. Mm -hmm. By week time, you'll be seeing the flowers. Okay. So after day one of planting, at how many weeks old before I give my first fertilizer? Uh, by three weeks. Mm -hmm. It depends. Giving the fertilizer, it depends on the land. Okay. For example, if you are using irrigation, mm -hmm. since it's a direct plant, mm -hmm. within two weeks, you can give the... You can, 
you can do fertigation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are there any form of pest that worries our cow normal pig use your, use your pest. Okay. Uh, but we normally use neem, neem extract. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we use to control the pest. Mm. But uh, in terms of pest management on on cow pig, mm -hmm. it's not so much like how it happened to maize. Okay. You have a uh, army worm to mm -hmm. attack, but maize. Mm. And a, a cow pee, we don't usually have those uh, issues, encounter those issues in terms of pest management. Okay. But you also have his own pest. Right. Um, there's the one pest, look radish, mm -hmm. red, mm -hmm. and black. Mm -hmm. Beginning when they start germinating within two weeks, mm -hmm. if you didn't monitor it well, they mm -hmm. start chewing the leaf. Okay. Because the stage of the leaf is right. very sweet for them. So uh, the leaf, uh, the leaf is not so hard right. for them, so they be on it and they train it. Okay. So when you see that, you have to quickly arrange mm. and control the pest. Okay. Uh, so I was the, I was just a plant. Do I start controlling wheat because I can see uh, wheat already it's, sprinkling in between? Yes. Mm. Uh, within uh, two weeks, mm -hmm. all based on the land preparation. Okay. You can pre you can prepare the land very well mm. without wheat control. Okay. And until you want to harvest, right? So all depend on uh, uh, the wheat, uh, the land preparation. But within three weeks to one month, you mm -hmm. have to control the weeds before you scrape, because it's scraping plant. Yeah. If you finish scraping, mm -hmm. it will be difficult for the people to even control, control the, the weeds. Leaves. Okay. Yeah. I realize there are some dots on the leaves. Yes. Those. What are, the, are these? Those, those are the pests. Okay. Which you have to. Control. They are attacking it already. They are attacking it, so they control. They use the name. A neem uh, leaf mm -hmm. to control it. Okay. All right. So, in how many weeks' time will I come back and see the cow pee? Oh, this, within two weeks, we'll be seeing the flies. Okay. So, a month time, you mm -hmm. see the, the cow pee for me. Mm. But you see, be, you see cow pee yes, before. Yes. Yes. So, okay. By, it's also a short. So, a among short the red and the white one, which one should I, who is targeting I, commercial purpose? Plant. I, mean, I prefer the white because the white when you go to the even the local market the white is expensive than the red really yes okay yeah okay so what you have here is it for sale or is for consumption uh both for both sale and consumption yes. okay so do you i know you do a lot of export is this also for export or the There's domestic export market? market for it really which countries right. buy cowpea oh. from ghana Kaupi, UK, Germany, even all the way to Finland. Mm. Everything we grow, there's market for it. If okay. We discover the market. Right. Uh, even if you do it very well, package it nicely. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Export market is there. Okay. The okay. demand is because, you know, what is happening in Europe now? Mm -hmm. African, we are blessed. Mm. Immediately, you put your standard and everything in order. Mm. You go to, you know, there's a lady. Uh, Last I had in some discussion with her, she prepared this agobe. You people call it agobe. Gobe. 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 Yeah, Gobe. It's Gobe. We call it in a way Bobo. Okay. Bobo. And she just posted it in her Instagram. Uh -huh. Now the requests are coming. People okay. on the raw stage of the beans. Right. So everything we grow. If there's market for it there's out there. There's market for it. Okay. Yeah. But you, you make it sound as if it's so easy to have access to the export market. As a new farmer. Because a lot of, anytime I post your uh, commodities on social media, people are asking, hey, how do I also start the exporting of commodities and all that? How easy or difficult is it for... It's very difficult. Okay. Yeah, because you are looking at standard mm -hmm. packaging. Mm -hmm. Even the market accessibility. Mm. Because when you want to penetrate, mm. you have to make sure your standards are in orderly. Okay. Your certification. Right. And especially when you are going to Europe, they, there's a lot of certification they have to ask you. Okay. You have to prove to them that you know because they are talking about health here. Okay. Because if somebody gets your product and put it in a supermarket mm -hmm. and there's an issue, mm. they can see your company and see the person even distribute to those uh, a, a supermarket okay so export market is not cheap mm. we it takes us about three to four years before we're able to enter to the market okay. you have to understand the dynamic because right. if you don't understand mm -hmm. they the white you ship to them mm. if 
they don't want they, you send the thing to them it doesn't meet their standard they can reject all the container okay that will be your downfall okay. so there's no rush mm. into the export market okay you can learn that's why ghana export promotion authority also is there mm. and you can learn some few things from them come practically will understand because even destination the hours the product even to reach where it's supposed to go you have to understand the hs code of the product is very important it's okay it's going to technicalities now it's okay we'll come for the tips when we want to go to export but is copy farming expensive is it expensive every farming is expensive all depend on how you manage it efficient how do you mean managing if i have my land for instance i have gotten a land and i need just the planting machine the land preparation um i know right now it depends on the community though exactly. but plowing is going between four to five hundred cities per yeah. acre yeah. and um, how many times am i supposed to plow before do harrow do you oh, do harrow for this one too you can do harrow it depends on you so i do two times if plowing the land is a virgin land maybe uh -huh. you go for a land which has not been plowed before plowed before okay you know when they plow it mm. you see it to be smooth mm -hmm. you know the crop you how you sleep on your mattress you feel comfortable then somebody will get a small mat and put it on the floor right. when you get up you know you'll be holding it. you know the plant also want to how you take care of the plant okay. for example you have flowers at home right if you are not giving the right thing to the flowers mm. it won't look like you it's like you are not taking care of it okay so uh, preparation of the land is very key okay okay so every crop mm. have its own unique production process and even how mm. you even want mm. to see that oh mm. i don't want to spend so much mm. on this mm. it depends how you go about, about it. it even as you mentioned the mm -hmm. community the labor mm. and mm. all those mm. some of the community they charge high some they don't charge high. Mm. and it depends so every... what is the biggest challenge for you as a commercial farmer right now in ghana because a lot of people especially Ghanaians who are living abroad who watch our interview who read news about agriculture online and a lot of them are inspired and motivated to come to farming but there are real and reality challenges out there exactly. what what is your challenge as a commercial farmer uh, well, some of the, the biggest the how you mm -hmm. control the workers controlling of your workers is very key and people think that when you want to do farming and then you plow you plant that's the end mm. somebody have to take care of the crop yeah because they are also a baby okay the plant they talk but beginning you see them they, you use your eye to listen to them to listen to what they are saying mm. this one is not magic okay and farming is commitment mm. you have to be involved i when you come to my farm I don't call them my workers. Mm. I call them my colleagues. They are family. Yeah, we are mm. family. So mm. people think that you always want to be like I'm the boss. Okay. But it's not that you have to be the boss. Okay. Everybody is on the boss. Is 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 a boss. Give the respect to everybody. You have to know your limit. Right. So human factor is very key. If your capacity of your human relationship of the workers is not. Before you realize, you reach a stage. They will abandon so the farm and run away. They will abandon the farm to you run away. Oh, okay. You'll be crying for your okay. Investment. All right. So wrapping up, um, these nine acres, how many kilos of seed or bags of cowpea seed do I need to plant? How many pieces do you use? Uh, the you, bags. That is the we use about five hundred. Uh, almost, almost. Uh, I'm making you oh. do calculations. <laughs> 500 kilo, kilo yeah. bag yes. fill the entire nine yeah, acres yeah, yeah. and it's going for how much uh, the price per acre uh -huh. the price per acre is around 300 okay 300 Ghana cities. but it depends the right. person we're dealing with the seed the we seed. have a lot of seed dealers do you sell seed because people are worrying me do I you sell seed i don't sell i'll so, start next year please do because please i'm mathless you can't be giving me a headache like that Every time I post your commodity, we want seed. You have to be you know, telling people, I don't know, sell seed. Quality seed also count. People go and purchase a, a seed even from market uh -huh. and give it to their farm manager to plant. When it happens like that, because preparation of the seed, how you treat the seed is also count. But people think that the seed 
we like cheap things where do i buy my seed as a farmer let's say my colleague who is there seven has a farm maybe chili pepper or okra oh, he wants to farm it. where do you now. advise him to get the seed because a lot of people ask me every now I don't and then want to... Uh, advertise uh, because no 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 not mm, advertise mm. what kind of shop do i walk into because you're saying if i buy from the market there's a lot of it shops. will not just as well monty is there agreement is there agri seed is there and there's individuals there's individual seed companies there very soon you'll be yeah. saying my flesh trust seeds seed, yes because <laughs> me myself even all the way to Togo, people right. call me okay they need a seed they cross even bother and come here right. that oh they saw our interview are uh, we selling seed here uh, even input right um so uh, seed plays a seed very a, crucial a role, role because in, in if you farming. don't get a germination mm. right forget it you can't get a yield okay so those are some of the all right so there's a lot more when it comes to cow pea farming but i'm sure this very short but precise tips that we're giving you is an eye opener this is an information that you can go ahead and look for more information when it comes to cowpea especially if you want to go into the production of cowpea you can read about them my flesh trust is online everywhere you can read about them but if you want more information knowledge is very key before you can proceed and invest your money thank you so much for sticking with us this is the Ghanaian farmer on youtube we're everywhere if you want to visit this farm you want to connect to anybody when it comes to agriculture in ghana look for the right people there are a lot of fraudsters online be very careful who, with who you do but for mathless i can confidently recommend them for you there's also agri today they are also another platform you can look out for they do a lot of things when it comes to agriculture then of course your very own Ghanaian farmer ghana's finest farmer. I'm, I'm the most beautiful farmer you can ever find in ghana you can look for me and we'll do business together thank you very much for coming out with us it's a bye for now thank you uh, don't be frowning your face because uh, when I... <laughs>